Jake Bremer, and I'm on the men's swim team at Ball State. My name's Connor Snare, and I'm a junior on the Ball State swim and dive team. I'm Jessica Eckstein, I'm a freshman at Ball State, and I'm on the swim team. My first tattoo is on my upper left shoulder and my back, and it is Mjolnir. It's the old symbol for Thor's hammer, and that means strength. The second tattoo was on my side, my ribs, left ribs, and it was a spider. I got bit by a black widow spider. I got very sick for like three, maybe two or three days, and after that I slowly got better, we returned to normal, and after that I have not even had a cold, haven't been sick with anything, so there's no proof behind it being like helping that, but I like to think it has something to do with it. Third tattoo is on my right inner bicep, and it's the uh, Ball State Swim Team Bonefish, which is a thing that was created a long time ago by the swimmers. It just symbolizes the men's swim team, men and women's swim team and it's just a tradition. On my uh, left foot, it's the Chicago Bulls uh, head. I'm just a huge, huge Bulls fan. And I lived about 40 minutes from Chicago, so my dad used to take me to Michael Jordan games all the time. It's a parachute with the date of my, when my grandpa died above it. Um, my grandpa was a paratrooper in Vietnam, and he actually earned like the Purple Heart, Silver Heart. He was buried in Arlington. He had the same tattoo on his arm, on the outside of his well, I always looked up to him growing up, and he wasn't around for very long, and I don't think I could appreciate everything he did. Me and my brother got the same one. His was on the inside of his arm, and my dad, which is my grandpa's son, um, was really touched by it. He was in a nursing home for like pretty much the last half of his life, and um, he didn't talk much, and he didn't move a lot, and um, Whenever I like walked in and would like say hi, I could just like see his face light up with like happiness and it's like we shared a really like close bond whenever I'd go visit him. He lives in he lived in Tennessee, so I didn't get to see him much. But when I did see him it was like really special and we both knew like the time was there wasn't a lot of time left to be with each other. So like this is my time to like really appreciate and like spread the message of what he meant. I got the tattoo on my side because I it was I really liked the verse. I read it and uh, it's it's been a big part of just competition and like how I've how I've kind of viewed swimming as a sport. So to be able to kind of put that on my side and incorporate it in something like a fish, which works pretty well with swimming. Um, just to be able to kind of do that and have it as a constant reminder to myself of why I do what I do, um, it's been really impactful to me. When I first came to Ball State, I became a part of Athletes in Action, and uh, one of the main principles of Athletes in Action is, it's called Audience of One, and it's, uh, it's centered on focusing only on your audience of one, who's God. So like to have that as a reminder that God is the audience who I'm trying to please, and He's the only one that matters not the people in the stands, not the, you know, not my teammates, not everybody else that, you know, is watching me. It's just a constant reminder to myself that I need to be focused on who I really need to please. 